Hello and welcome to the Chemistry Topic Materials Lesson 1 Properties of Metals. So you're going to have a look at some images and I need you to think about what all of these materials have in common and to be honest it should be quite obvious. So you've got some copper wire, underneath that you have some gold jewellery, then you've got uh, different pieces of lead um, in pipes and some fittings, then you've got some silver jewellery and in a test tube one of our more unique and special metals, mercury. Um, have a think about why mercury is special and unique. Right, and what we are going to look at is all the different properties of these metals and you need to know these and um, why they have them, how their structure um, enables them to have these properties. So for example, the first one being that metals can conduct electricity. So they can also conduct energy and then we know that they're strong and that's referred to as they have a really high tensile strength. High tensile strength means that they can be pulled really far or a lot without being broken. These metals are also shiny once they've been polished or freshly cut. Uh, for example, sodium is a lovely example of this. It'll be really dull on the outside. It's very soft. You can slice through it with a sharp scalpel. And then when you open it up, you'll see it's really shiny on the inside. You can also see from those pipes that those copper pipes are very shiny when polished. And then the final one there is that metals are sonorous. Now, this is one you probably haven't heard of, one property you might not have heard of. And this means they make a really nice dong sound, um, a little bit like a gong, but it's the sound they make when they are hit, okay? Only metals do that. If you hit another material, it will not make that sound. Okay, there's a couple of these properties that we're going to look at in detail. So the first one being that metals can conduct electricity. Now, that's because electric current flows easily through the metal. And this electric current is the flow of negatively charged electrons. And because there are some free electrons that can move around the metal, that means that they can conduct the electricity from one end to another of the metal. And that's why they're used in wires and the like, because they are useful at conducting electricity. Now, another property I want to look at specifically is conducting energy. So they will conduct thermal energy. And um, this means that they'll transfer energy from a hot area to a cold area. So the particles are arranged closely together in a metal. And when they vibrate, as we know they do about their fixed position, they transfer the energy. So this metal saucepan, as it's heated underneath, will transfer the energy through the metal of the saucepan into the food that is cooking in the saucepan. So the warmer, the cold, so the colder parts of the metal will become warmer and also the food inside will be warmed and heated through. Now, there are a few other properties you need to be aware of with a little description as well. So the first one being malleable, that means a metal can be changed shape without breaking. It won't shatter because the atoms will slide over one another. That's how some metal poles can be bent. Uh, metals have a really high density and this means they've got a huge number of particles packed into a small space so they also feel really heavy. Having a high density it means that they feel very heavy for their size so they have a lot of atoms into a small volume. Some metals, not many, but some metals are magnetic and then if you've got an alloy with this magnetic material in that alloy will also be magnetic. And we need to know what an alloy is. So an alloy is made when two or more metals are mixed together. Um, that means you could get a weaker metal mixed with a stronger metal to get quite a good combination. Now, these will also, these metals will also have high and metal. Metals will also have high melting and boiling points, and that means that large amounts of energy is required to break those strong bonds within the metals. And then finally, metals are ductile. So they can be made into wires so that they can be and they can be bent and stretched. 
been a bit of a whistle stop tour of the properties of metals, all of which you need to know and some as you could tell in more detail than others.